The Bering Land Bridge National Preserve is one of the most remote national parks in America, located in northwest Alaska. The preserve protects a small remnant of a land bridge that connected Asia and North America centuries ago. For decades, experts have been debating exactly how long the Bering Land Bridge existed. The new research shows that this stretch of land may have come into existence much later than previously thought. For the study, the team analyzed the ratios of nitrogen isotopes collected from sediments on the seafloor of the Western Arctic Ocean to better understand when the Bering Strait was flooded with water flowing in from the Pacific. Researchers reconstructed the sea level history of the Bering Land Bridge from 46,000 years ago, a time filled with cold glacier and warm interglacier periods. The land bridge opened up when gigantic ice sheets covered large swaths of North America. As a result, on average, global sea levels are about 130 meters lower during this part of the Ice Age than they are today, which helped keep the Bering Land Bridge open. The new findings suggest that the growth of the ice sheets, which led to a subsequent drop in sea levels, occurred later in the glacier cycle than previously thought. It means that more than 50% of the global ice volume at the last glacial maximum grew after 46,000 years. This is important for understanding the feedback between climate and ice sheets because it implies that there was a substantial delay in the development of ice sheets after global temperatures dropped. Eventually, as Earth warmed and its ice sheets began melting, the bridge became inundated around 11,000 to 13,000 years ago, and it disappeared under the Bering Strait. And now you're science smart. If you have a science question on your mind, send me a tweet or an email, and I'll try to get it answered.